I know you guys really loved Ron Burgundy just in the last video. It is running so freaking good. Um, but we are building a crank support for it before we take it out. We want to do that. And then on top of that, we're going to build a cow that goes over the scoop. I know you guys are commenting. Trust me, we are already planning on doing this stuff. We want to get a scoop over that. Probably going to build something out of like Lexan or something. Just something that goes over the cow so it's not splashing water and mud in it. Um, and on top of that, the uh, getting the um, crank support put on there. We're going to have to kind of just build our own. They don't really make anything for that. But I mean thing is just a monster already it's absolutely insane how much this truck is improved so and the sound and just everything the whole deal so before we go take it out and really beat on it we're gonna do those couple things and uh we're gonna get that taken care of we appreciate all the support on it guys thank you for watching the videos it's awesome and we're super happy with how this thing turned out on to our next project which is our single cab duramax that we are trying to get ready for ultimate call out challenge we only have a little over a week to get that thing done. We have a lot to do to it. So check it out, guys. We're gonna get some cleaning on that thing. And on top of that, we're gonna start getting some stuff stripped out of it and get this thing ready to be a drag truck or drag and drive truck so we can go rip it out there with uh, my boy Cleet and all those guys. So, but hopefully we'll see you guys at Ultimate Call Out Challenge, UCC in Indianapolis, Indiana, June 2nd, 3rd, 4th, something like that. And uh, hope you guys check that out and we should be there. So we're gonna get back to work on the drag truck check it out guys hope you enjoy it and we have a whole process on that truck of how we're putting it together be looking for the next few videos it's gonna be pretty awesome so enjoy the video today guys we are back and we are live on the jh diesel channel we are back to our duramax drag truck build and i don't want to call it exactly a drag truck i guess we're going to do drag and drive events with it we're hoping to make it to some good drag races with it this year but this will be kind of our all-around drag drive fun truck hopefully run some good times and make it faster as the channel goes on. That would be my end goal is to have this thing like a full blown race car, um, but still be able to drive it on the street if possible. So we're getting back on this thing. We are gonna pressure wash and clean this thing today because God it is nasty. This stuff, and it'll clean up good I think, but uh, it is stained with Alabama clay on this frame everything is completely stained orange so that's gonna be our goal today let's get this thing washed up rinsed off and hopefully underneath so we can work on it and have a nice clean work area possibly paint it get all nice and clean under the hood make it actually look like something that you would see at the drag strip instead of dumping dirt all down it i don't want to be that guy so we're gonna get the pressure washer out and we're about to go to town on this thing first i'm gonna tape up all my connectors all my connections everything that's open get all that stuff taped up and then start from there again guys thank you so much we're heading over to baldigo.com we got plenty of jh merch in stock check it out guys we appreciate your support and i hope you enjoy the video today here's a little bit of before i'm gonna get all the loose stuff blown out of here and then we'll show you a little bit of after Well, that's about as good as she's going to get right now. Um, I don't know what the hell they put in Alabama clay, but that shit stains everything. So <laughs> yeah, it ain't dirt. it's just embedded in the frame on this thing. So, but either way, we did get a ton of stuff clean. I had the truck up in the lift. I cleaned everything underneath it. It is as clean as it's going to be. So we can paint basically from here on out. We'll paint everything over, wipe it all down, make it look good. And uh, that should be taken care of. There's a lot we're going to be taking out of this engine bay. So we'll be doing that. And then at the same time, 
we got a lot of stuff that we put in this engine bay so the truck is as clean as it's going to be right now but uh it's good for us right now and guys we are going to get back to putting the engine together checking the trans over and we're going to convert this two-wheel drive truck to four-wheel drive so that'll be our next big step so stay tuned guys okay so we are back on the duramax drag drive truck we need to pull the seats out of it We've got to pull the console out of it We've got to pull the headliner out of it because it's got to get at least a roll bar hoop put in it with door bars may get a full cage put in it before this race and may not but it's going to get a full cage put in it uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the seats out, pull the console out, pull the headliner out. I'm going to set you guys up right over there to get comfy and watch the work being done. All right, let's make a mess. How about that? Been busy back here huh yes sir so we got the truck moved into the service bay where we're going to be working on it and obviously you guys know the engine's out i pressure washed the hole underneath this truck the other day i was hoping to get all the orange off but that's physically impossible it's not going to happen we scrubbed it scrubbed it it is literally just part of the frame at this point i pressure yeah, washed not, it scrubbed it's it residue, it's, it's like stained it's stained <laughs> which is fine though we'll paint all over it. it'll look good so Either way, got that taken care of. And then Justin this morning, he's going to be stripping a couple things, get the old battery tray out of there. It's rusty. Get all that crap gone. Anything we don't really need, he's going to get out of the truck. He's already got the interior stripped and gutted because we are going to put a roll bar in this thing. We're at least going to put a roll bar in it and start building the cage. We might not have a full cage before Ultimate Callout Challenge, but we'll at least have, you know, your roll bar and then probably a door bar that comes down. And then we'll go from there. So that's what we're doing right now. Justin's been busting ass. He's vacuumed this whole thing out. It was disgusting, I would imagine. And uh, all the interior is right there. I found, I found, I'm excited. When you, you make a, a couple truck, bucks. When you buy a new truck, I'm excited. Last time I got shoes, this time I found a little bitty short extension cord, and then I used it to vacuum oh. the truck out. Well, there you go. Look at that. Already winning. <laughs> found an extension cord. Hell yeah. So cool, guys. So he's got that going on for it. And, uh, Basically, at this point, the truck is pretty much stripped about as much as we're going to strip it. I want to do more, but it's going to probably have to wait till after Ultimate Callout Challenge. There's no way we're going to have enough time to do everything. We're going to end up getting the dash out of it, gutting the dash. We're going to make this thing like a full-blown, you know, race slash drag and drive truck. So, anyways, guys, we're going to get back to cleaning out this thing, and then we're going to pull the other truck in. And he's got some big changes going on with that one. So, check it out. We'll see you guys in a minute. Well, don't mind the bed full of stuff back here, but Justin just got done welding up the rear end, fully welded, so she will be locked up and ready to rip in this thing. Hopefully no issues. 
Hopefully no issues. These lockers have a very common issue. And didn't this thing, it was completely open, wasn't it? When we were messing with it, it was, yeah. It was like completely open, so kind of figured that. On top of that, guys, he's been prepping parts for the engine right now. We're waiting on a couple things to get back. We got our cross members. He's got our valve covers. We got our rocker bridges and stuff, our rockers sitting there. A few more things to clean up tomorrow. The engine is looking awesome. It is tore down. Heads are well in the machine shop, waiting to get them back. Got a lot of parts rolling in the next couple of days, but got this thing all cleaned up. Might touch it up with a little bit of paint here and there. But other than that, the engine looks like it's ready to rip. I'm going to clean up all the block where the heads go. We got a bunch of gaskets, a bunch of stuff coming in for this thing. So look at that. Engine restoration 101, guys. Yeah, this was uh, this motor was rebuilt uh, a couple thousand miles ago. <laughs> I don't, can't find the receipts, but it's brand new. <laughs> Yo, brand new, boys. So he's on there, getting that thing ready to go. We are this close, guys. We got some stuff coming in for it. It's gonna be freaking awesome. And uh, we'll see what happens. Closer to the ultimate call-out challenge. It's getting close, guys. Less than a week away right now. Let's see how this goes.